What's up, y'all? It's W, and here we're going to talk about getting a budget squad, not spending thousands of dollars, not spending, you know, too much money and breaking the bank to make your team to compete. So what I'm going to do here in this series, we're going to go ahead and talk about, I put $100 on the game. I'm going to go over here and show y'all the, the actual bundle that I bought. I went to players. Over here, the main one, gold premium mega bundle. Now, there's no limit on this bundle, which is a little crazy because it's $100 a pop. This is what I bought, and I'll show y'all what I reaped from this this bundle. Just $100 is all I'm going to spend on this budget squad, this whole series, the whole year. And my goal is to get this budget squad into the top 100 on the salary cap leaderboards for PlayStation and show y'all how to use the coin to the best ability. Now, what happened, what, what I pulled in this bundle, I already sold some of the cards. I'll show y'all what I pulled, which is, it was a pretty decent bundle. I think 18 elites or something. I pulled up Devontae Freeman, which was a big deal. He went for about 150, so I put him up for 143. That's really what I do. When I get a card, I want to sell it. I go ahead and put it up for, you know, not too much, you know, give it a give it a difference. Undercut is what they call it. I'm going to undercut it to a point where someone thinks it's a deal because I want him off my team. I want the coin to build my team from the ground up. So I'm going to use that. So I'm going to try to get rid of Devontae Freeman. Now, some people would be hyped. Well, Devontae Freeman is a good running back. Person, I think running back, wide receiver, every position on the field, you can find somebody to do his job for cheaper coins. And that's essentially what you want to do when you're making a budget squad is find players that can do the same thing for cheaper coins. You got to start putting a coin value on every single player that you put up there. So you can say the same thing with Deshaun Jackson, Marquise Pouncey, and this Joe Berger. These were probably my four highest pulls. You know, Deshaun Jackson went for about 45K, put him up for 39 because I want him gone. I want to start developing my team. I'm not the biggest mutt auction block guy where I sit and, you know, gauge the prices and try to get my maximum value for each thing because I want to play. I don't want to waste time in here. I want to get good at the game, and I want to move up the ladder board. The more sp time I spend in the auction house, the less time I spend playing Madden. So what I try to do is get in and get out. So if there's up there for 45, I'm putting Deshaun Jackson up for 39 because I want him going. I did the same thing with Pouncey and Burger. And instantly, they literally all sold within the last minute. So I might have lost, say, altogether, I might have lost 5K or, you know, 10K. But for me to get them sold and not having to worry about it and being able to play Madden, that's essentially the biggest thing I want to do with my cards and the bundle that I pulled. So what I want to do with this bundle is go ahead and give me just a starting ground. I'd like to get 300K. I'm already at 200K, and I only sold four cards. I'll show you all what else I have and essentially what I do. Still have all these cards, and I kind of want to sell all of them. I don't see one that's really going to play for me. So what I want to do is find a quarterback because when I'm starting a team, I feel, I've feel i always felt, even in Mutt, I'm talking about Mutt 25, man, the first Mutt I played when nobody was playing, it, and I was like, you know, if I get a quarterback, I can play right now. I can compete with anybody if my quarterback doesn't cost me games. So essentially when I've opened my first bundle, even on Xbox this year, I say I have to get a quarterback that doesn't screw me, that doesn't throw the ball to the popcorn man. So that's my whole goal in opening a bundle. I put, like I said, I put $100 on here, so I want to get an elite quarterback. Ideally, I'd like to get Aaron Rodgers. I know he's probably 600 k I'm not going to be able to get him. So i got to find somebody that's in between that I can use. So this is what I did. I went and when I get the cards, I'll see Larry Warford. Obviously, I'll hit L1, and I'll see how much he's going for. Okay, 33. So, like I said, I'm going to put, if he's 33, I'm going to put him up for 28. So, people say, oh, he's a deal. You saw how many Larry Warfers. If I put him up for 32, he's not going to stand out. You know, what's going to stand out is the fact that he's not 30K. He's 29. It's going to look a lot cheaper than 30. It's only a, it's only a thousand coin difference, but it looks a whole lot cheaper. In any business, that's why they say 1999. It looks a lot cheaper than $20. Even though it's not, but it just looks a lot cheaper. So, that's technically what I do. Go ahead, we'll see how fast Larry Warford. Hopefully he sells before this video. And, you know, so all this out of that bundle wasn't bad. Devontae Freeman really saved me. Here we go, number 125. I want to put Morris Claiborne up for 20K because I want him going. I don't know how many people are buying Morris Claiborne's right now. So we'll put him up for 20K. And ideally, I want, once I get my quarterback, I can fill up any, any other position I can fill up with goals, I think, and compete. I tell my friends, even some some people I played Madden with for years don't like mud as much because you have to spend money. 
oh, I don't have Julio Jones, I don't have Khalil Mack, I don't have, you know, Von Miller, you know, I don't have Rod Woodson. You know, I feel like you really can't compete. You can't let that be an excuse to why you can't compete. You know, a lot of people are on the fence about how Mutt really is pay to play, you know, but I feel like there's angles if you know the right players and you know the right system to go ahead and be able to still compete even though you're not spending $5,000. And that's essentially what this whole series is going to be about, how to get your team to a certain, you know, a certain ability without spending buku bucks. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and sell all these cards, sell all these elites. The golds, I, what I do with the golds, I've asked Twitter, I've asked all you mutt guys what to do with my gold. Some people say hold on to them, some people say sell them. Some, and honestly, I this my bind on Xbox is at 1,300 cards, and I hate it because I don't want to go through it. So what I do, and people are going to drive, they're going to kill me, but I, what I want to do is. Some of these guys, Bradley Roby might go for 4K. You know, look, he's up here for, you know, what's the cheapest? 6K. So I'll go ahead and put Bradley Roby. There's certain players, the high-end elites, you can go ahead and put up for what they're worth, and you do the same type of thing, so on and so forth. That's what I'll do. But when you get down to elites, like, you know, Dustin, oh, the kicker. The kicker's pretty good. But DJ Hayden, let's see what DJ Hayden, DJ Hayden might be 3K. Yeah, 3K. What I do, honestly, and y'all going to kill me for this, Say it's wrong, but this is what I do. I, I always feel like there's players that play the auction house that know that DJ Hayden is worth 3 k So when I do this, I go ahead and put the auction up for one hour, and I start it at 100 There's going to be auction guys that are going to go ahead and bid on him until he gets to close to 3 k and then stop. So even if he sells for 2500 or 2000 I'm fine because I didn't have to do the research. I didn't have to do any of that. I'm going to go ahead and put one hour, no buy it now, and let people bid on him and let him go. So if... So essentially, if he's worth three k, I'm saying, and somebody buys him for two, and I don't have to worry about it doing any research, I can do this to every player. I've always felt that way on Mutt. That there's people that know the, the, I mean, they know the auction house better than me. And I, like I said, I don't want to be in the auction house. I don't want to be in my binder. I want to get in and out. That's what I want to do. I don't want to be in this. I want my coins. So that's what I do with stuff like this. So with this thing, I'm not going to worry about sets. I'm going to try to maximize my coins sell all these guys and come back to y'all with as much coin as I got from this video and from that first bundle where it was $100. That's all I'm going to spend all year and try to maximize my team and show y'all the best team. So look out for the next video. Once I sell all these coins, I'll get into developing my team and how I can use. Hopefully, we're looking at, hopefully we can get 400 k maybe 500 k and that's more than enough. If you can't start a team with 500 k then I mean you can't play. It's as simple as that. Don't be fooled by I don't have the superstars. You can compete with the with the high with the borderline elites and the high end goals. I'll tell y'all the right players. I'll tell y'all the right schemes and a way to maximize the players on your field and not have to spend buku bucks. So check out for the next videos. If y'all like this, hit the like button. Always hit the sub button. I really appreciate all the feedback I'm gonna get on YouTube. I've been working really hard to give y'all the knowledge that I know what makes me a good man player. And essentially what makes me a good GM. And that's why we love Mutt, because you're not only are you the coach, the quarterback, the defensive coordinator, but now Mutt has made you the GM. And I'll show y'all what I know about the certain players and all that that makes your team good and cheap. Like I said, I'm not the greatest Mutt auction house guy. I'll show y'all how, some of y'all might be offended at how I sell my cards, but that's what I do so I can put more effort in the man and less to the auction house. So hit the like button, hit the sub button. I'm going to be back with a new video as soon as all these cars sold.